So what is the difference between having a fixed and a growth mindset in my life? I think this is a very fair question for people to ask me because I spend an enormous amount of time talking about it, talking about the value of it and why I think it's so important we should think about these things and improve our mindset. But you know, what has it actually meant in your life? A lot of people have an idea that the mindset work that I go through is about motivation and feeling better. And I want to guarantee you that that's not what I'm talking about. So let's talk through some of the differences in my life between having a fixed and a growth mindset. Three things that I want to say up front, which we can, you know, go, which we can go into in more detail if, you know, if you feel need, <laughs> if we feel the need to later. One, I didn't come across the mind, I didn't come across fixed and growth mindset work while I was studying. In fact, I came across it after I was qualifying while I was trying to help my students. I have a lot of years of working with a fixed mindset and I really can clearly see over so many years and throughout my entire qualification the impact that that had versus where, where I am now working with more of a growth mindset and the very distinct clarity or the very distinct difference between the two. The second is that my fixed mindset impacted my career and myself way beyond my qualification. In other words, the qualification, getting the qualification did not fix it. The third is that for me, my entrepreneurial journey has been as scary as getting my qualification, if not more so. For your entrepreneurial journey, there's no textbook, there's no suggested solution, there's no syllabus, there's no one telling you what you need to do next, uh, and you can fail every day. <laughs> so in terms of pre-qualification and the challenges that I faced, and post-qualification, my entrepreneurial journey and challenges that I faced, my approach and my comparison between how I behave in these two are very relevant. Let me talk about some stuff that has shifted for me between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. When I was studying and getting my qualification, I definitely had a fixed mindset. I was terrified through most of my journey, and that was an 11 year qualification journey. I was terrified for most of my journey that I wasn't gonna make it. And it all revolved around, I'm not smart enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not gonna be able to do this because I'm not smart enough. With a growth mindset, with the stuff that I'm working on, no, I don't have exams to work with, but as I said, as I said earlier, the challenges are very real. The performance anxiety is very real in terms of trying to create a business, trying to market and sell your products and work in areas and with skills that you've never worked with before. Um, not to mention, I think for most accountants, the concept of sales and marketing is terrifying, putting yourself out there, you know, waiting for rejection, etc. So that's quite terrifying. Um, However, I no longer feel that I'm going to be limited by my smartness. And I want to make it clear that that wasn't a conscious thought. If you had have said to me, you know, Yvonne, is there a limit to your smartness or, you know, is there a ceiling on how smart you are that you can't get further than that? I probably would have said no, because I, I never really gave it that much thought. But when I look at how I behaved, when I look at my instinctual reactions, there's no question that there was a terror that I wouldn't be able to do this. Whereas now... I may not be able to do it, but my, my instinct is I may not be able to do it yet. And in that moment where before I, in that moment I felt defeated, in that moment where I couldn't do a question, uh, you know, an exam question befuddled me, I failed the test, whatever, in that moment that was all there was. There was nothing else. I was terrified that that was it. That was the end of it. It wasn't logical. I'm not saying it was logical, but that was definitely the instinct. Whereas now, even in those moments where things don't go wrong, I'm not saying I feel fantastic about it. I'm not saying rejection feels amazing. I'm not saying that I'm great with this, but there is definitely an instinct of, I'll figure this out. I can figure this out. I can do something with this. Or perhaps I need to think about this differently. Step back a little bit, assess it. Uh, maybe, I need to maybe I need to change something. Maybe I need to approach it differently. Maybe I need to ask for some help. Maybe I need to. So I'm not necessarily sure w what is in the future and what's out there, but I'm, I'm not going to let this, I'm not going to let whatever this is stop me. I know there's something beyond that and I, I can go there. And that is very freeing for me.